Hello everyone and welcome, my name is Marcus and today I will share with you how to make this excellent chromatic typography visual using Adobe Illustrator and Adobe Dimension. So let's go. First I will design my custom type using the pencil tool in Adobe Illustrator. Then I will use the simplify tool to clean up the points and I will get the direct selection tool to adjust a few beziers. And when everything is smooth, I will add a fill color and change it to light gray. By the way, you don't need to design your own custom type. This technique will work on anything. I'm just using this as an example of the method. With that done, let's select all of our letters and go to object and group them. Now let's go to effects, 3D and materials and select inflate. Let's change the depth to zero and click to apply on both sides. For the rotation, let's use the preset front. But if you want to have a quick look at your 3D model, use the X, Y and Z slider to have a quick turnaround. When you finish, you can select front again. Cool. With that done, we can close this 3D effects tab. Next, we need to go to the top menu and go to window and select assets export. Now select our 3D object and drag and drop it into the asset export window. And on a format option, let's change it to OBJ. Click export and save it. Cool. Now let's jump into Adobe Dimension. With Adobe Dimension open, let's go to File and select Import 3D Object. Let's import the OBJ file we just exported from Adobe Illustrator. And now we can see our 3D Illustrator model in the 3D world. But before adding cool chrome effects, let's make a few adjustments. First, let's go to the Scene tab and select Environment and go to Properties. Here, change the background color to black and deactivate the ground floor so it doesn't intersect with our 3D model. And using the Orbit, Pan and Zoom tools, let us adjust our model in our scene. Perfect. Now let's apply some cool materials to our 3D model. On the left side, we have the Started Asset tab. Here you can find 3D model, materials and backgrounds and light setups. And we are looking for some metallic materials. So let's scroll down until we find the Adobe Standard Materials and select the metal one and drag and drop it over our chrome type folder and this shader will apply the metallic look to our 3D letters. The next thing we need to get is an environmental light. This is an image that will illuminate our 3D model and cast really cool reflections into it. And now we can see the excellent effect it has. After that, let's choose an image for the background and don't worry, we can change this later in Photoshop. With that done, let's click on the render tab to open the render settings. Let's name our file Choose the quality of the render, the format and the directory we want to save it, press render and wait for a few minutes until our image finishes. When it's done, let's go inside of the folder where we saved the file and let's double click it to open our Photoshop file. Here you have a complete file with masks for the entire project. Also we have a rendered image and a denoised image. A background image that we can change or turn off if you don't want it and a background layer. From here you can add your color adjustments, effects, clothes and all the cool things that Photoshop lets us do. I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial. Creating this type of 3D graphics without leaving Adobe software suite, it's excellent. I hope you enjoyed it, remember to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Cheers, bye bye.